video cooking today? How do I look is a better question. Stupid. Some might say stupid, some might say really handsome. I'm gonna go with the majority says handsome, but um, yeah, so let's give you a little rundown. What's Yesterday, opening day, Zone 10, Massachusetts. Um, I got to go out in the morning, so didn't Justin, and then uh, my dad went out as well. Um, <laughs> pretty embarrassing uh, story on my end of how my opening morning went, but uh, we're just gonna skip all the bad parts. <laughs> And uh, so yeah, morning, saw some action. I had a small scrub buck, say a six pointer maybe. Uh, he came up to me about 20 yards away, took a shot, who knows what happened. Just kidding, I know exactly what happened. I hit a tree that was right in front of him, I couldn't see it, but uh, yeah, that stunk. Then I had a doe and a skipper come up to me, um, real close, then got down one to me, sniffed me out and blew at me and left. Um, although it was not a really good um, start, I still had, you know, fun seeing the deer. But uh, aside from that, the afternoon is probably the best part. Uh, I wasn't able to go out, but Justin was, and uh, he he did really well. Let's Eleven say. pointer, two hundred twenty pounds dress. It's pretty good. Um, but yeah, I mean. He'll have a better description of how his afternoon went. I just got a brief description. All I know is pretty close to uh, uh, last shooting light and uh, he sealed the deal, he got it done. And now he's got a tough rest of the season to top it, you know? But uh, yeah, today, pretty good weather conditions, kind of warm, looking at about around 67 degrees. It's supposed to be like that for the rest of the evening, but we're gonna sit out here um, actually where Justin was kind of sitting yesterday morning, he had some action, saw a scrub buck, and you say you saw a skipper, so two does. three does, and then that's our scout, he's going to check out the area for us, we just hired him, and there's the yellow guy. So you see how he tipped his wings, that means there's four big bucks in there. Yeah, that's a good sign, so. He'll be doing a couple laps, checking out the area for us. Um, but yeah, we're gonna go up here, uh, right behind this opening, right in the edge of the woods there. We're gonna be sitting up there. Justin's gonna take his self climber up and post up next to me. And yeah, we're just gonna- You're actually gonna take it for me. Oh, I'm carrying it? Yeah. Gotcha. <laughs> Not quite the operation my hands are doing. Gotcha, there. okay, um, cool. So I guess I'm carrying the uh, self climber. That's pretty dope. You know what? All right, let's head in there. Let's clean it up. has happened in between our last video and this video not a lot of good things my dad's end we'll start with him shot a deer I can't even remember what day it was Friday mm -hmm. yeah Friday morning no luck we uh we think he shot in the shoulder hit the bone didn't go all the way through you know got stuck in him hard tracking couldn't find him so I mean we're hoping that the arrow just fell out and he's fine but who knows um, aside from that, me, Friday evening, had some luck, uh, I saw, saw a good amount of deer, I saw two skippers, came in Friday evening to the food plot, um, obviously watched them, didn't shoot them, Justin definitely would have shot them, not me, I'm more conservative, I laid back, I, I held back, watched those two little guys come in, and, uh, sorry, I just got distracted by some geese. Oh, way up there. Oh, yeah, check that out. But, um, 
two does or yeah two skippers came in and that was around six o'clock so we're getting pretty close to last light i think last light that day was 6 45 um right around 6 30 had a small six in a high rack eight point come in and uh you know they were just hanging out in the soybeans for a while where i couldn't get a good shot at them and uh, it was just a waiting game and it was kind of just a race against time because I was playing with last light, you know, and uh, I ended up just rushing a shot that I probably shouldn't have taken and Excuse me, sorry this is my Yeah, so I was racing against time. Uh, it was getting pretty dark out um, and the A point was just not moving out of the soybeans where I didn't have a clear shot. Ended up t sitting down in the stand where I could have a, like a better shot at him. Took the shot um, and just wasn't good. It was kind of hard to see. It all happened so fast. So um, yeah, I got down, looked at the arrow, found it like almost no blood. Uh, just little spots here and there. And plus with the, the leaves on the ground, it's kind of hard to track them especially with a little blood, but uh, hoping the same deal with him too. I'm hoping it was just a flesh wound and he's still kicking around. Um, but yeah, we got some good intel from our dad. He's gotten some uh, does on camera. I don't think he's got any bucks since the one I shot, but you never know, man. It's it's middle October. The rut's starting to go on, you know. Things could things could happen tonight, so. Well, uh, we're gonna shoot a couple more arrows and then uh, get dialed in, head in there. How's the weather? How's the what? The conditions? Oh, uh, pretty good. I'm not gonna complain, honestly. <clears throat> Excuse me for a second. There's an airplane taking off. It's, it's nice, cool, cool weather we got today. Um, overcast conditions. Everything is looking pretty good, but uh, I want to get ahead of myself here because every time I do, it ends up being a uh, pretty crummy day. So we'll just say for now, weather conditions are looking good. Um, so we kind of talked about earlier what has gone up or what has happened in the past week and uh, there's been a lot of activity here but mostly does at this spot but like I said earlier I had uh, a couple bucks come in and um, that one I took a shot at I'm hoping he's still alive so if he's still alive um, hopefully he'll come in tonight because he's kind of my target buck at this spot um, but also the six-pointer that was with them as well wasn't too bad. I mean, I got two buck tags, so if I have to burn one on the six-point, uh, I might. Um, does are up in the air right now. Uh, could take a doe. We'll see if a, if a doe comes out. But um, yeah, we just got settled in probably 15 minutes ago. Looking at about four o'clock now. Got in a, a hair late, but. We've been getting these guys on camera right around 6 o'clock, so we got a couple hours till we expect to see them come in. Um, got Justin with me here. Previous episode, there he is. <laughs> Previous episode, he was doing all filming, no shooting, just because he had uh, 
he scored that pretty big buck, so he was laid back just doing some filming, but he brought his bow with him today. Um, I mean, who knows? We could both score, or we could both just totally not get one at all. But, you know, you, we're just putting in the time right now, and hopefully it pays off. Um, did some target practice before we got out here. I was on the money. I was dialed in. And Justin, on the other hand, not so much. So, um, it's okay. <laughs> um, before we had a uh, meal, I had a coffee and a pumpkin donut. It is fall, and the, the scent of pumpkin is around. I mean, it's everywhere, so. It does bring them in. It's, yeah, it does bring them in. So, it's an allure. So that is some advice I would give to you. It's not a common task or common, you know, tip to use before you go out in the Tactic. woods. Tactic. Tactic. That's a, that's a great word for it. So, yeah, grab a half dozen, maybe a dozen pumpkin donuts. Who does your beard? Santiago. <laughs> some thumbs up, shout out, thumbs do you, up. Do you want to drop his, his tag on it? We'll put it in the link Santi, below. Santi. Oh, isn't it? Santi loves aquariums or something. <laughs> I don't know his app, but... He does love aquariums, and he's really good at haircuts, and lines up my beard. So yeah, if you're interested in good haircuts, also, um, deer really appreciate good, good lineups and haircuts. So if they they come into a, um, one of your spots and they see that you're just a rugged, ugly-looking guy, they'll turn right around. But if you're, you know, lined up and chiseled like me, they'll just come right in. They'll feel welcomed, you know. But uh, 